Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a lovely morning here at Okonjima. Um, it's nice cool temperatures. The light is perfect. We just got a giraffe to our left there. We found it browsing on that tree, but when we stopped, you know, it also turned around to look at us, stare at us and also just wonder what we are doing. But yeah, we're just here to have a look at you. It's quite interesting when they drink water, they have to splat their legs um, so that the neck can actually reach down to the water. And at times they also sort of bend their front legs just to give the long neck a chance to reach down and drink the easy way. Um, in that position, they also quite vulnerable. Sometimes, you know, cats know exactly which is the best place, you know, to get something to eat. So they hang around, you know, bushes close to water holes. And when giraffes come and drink um, in that uh, position of theirs, splitting their legs or folding them down, you know, they lose a little bit of concentration then, you know. And that is also the time when a predator that could bring it down would also attack. What we have here are actually banded mongoose. And um, these animals live in large colonies. You can find up to 20 or 30 of them together. That's quite a number. Huh? <laughs> um, but um, they're very social and um, they actually forage together. Um, they can be scattered in an area, all digging and going, you know, around stuff, trying to get their food, uh, which would be insects as well as smaller reptiles. Interestingly, is that within their colony, um, there is actually no uh, fights when it comes to. Uh, breeding, you know, um, all the males can actually breed with the ladies in there. At the moment, uh, this is really um, exciting to see. They are actually using the termite mound as their shelter. Um, there's some holes within it, so in this case I would believe that the termites have actually vacated the mound. And uh, now the mongooses have actually taken over. Um, it might just be for a short period of time that they are there. Uh, it, it might not be their permanent, you know, um, uh, home. But for now, their behavior is very calm, uh, just sunning. You see, some of them are out here. There's some young ones as well that come out to sun bask, just heat up, you know, get rid of the cold before they start off, you know, foraging again. Uh, small animals like that, you know, they're always vulnerable whenever they go out in the bush here. So there's always some that are looking out for danger. And um, danger can come from jackals, for example, or it can come from leopards, uh, pythons, you know, and sometimes also birds of prey, so they're always looking out for each other. It's a challenge out there in nature when they start out foraging. Uh, this afternoon we are just out here to see and uh, find more game for you. Um, it's very cloudy today, lovely afternoon, and um, we're looking forward to find more game that we can uh, show you. Nothing can compete with this guy in beauty. It's beautiful. It's a warthog, common warthog. I like the fact that they can actually stand their grounds at times, you know, when a predator comes after them, uh, this guy will run, but at times he decides that, hey, I'm tired of running every day, he turns around and then he tries to chase the predator. So sometimes they get successful with it, but yeah, many a times they actually make up about, like here at Okonjima, probably 40 to 50 percent of the leopards kill. But interestingly, when they 
escape and have to go into a burrow, they go reverse. They reverse into the burrow. And this has actually advantages. If there is something in the burrow, um, it's easier for it to rush out again. And um, if something is to try and dig them out or follow them in there with those tasks that they have in front, you know, it can be very fatal for whoever tries to get them out because it just rushes out, you know, run you over with those tasks and they can actually stab you with those. That's the male on the left with two pairs of words and then the female to the right here only has one, only one pair. Now, the rest of the females, they are continuing to graze uh, or feed. And their very thin tails go up when they run. <coughs> um, you know, when the grass is very tall, like here, for example, it can be quite difficult for them to see each other, especially when you have piglets as well, you know. So when these tails go up, um, these piglets then just follow that, you know, signal. And that way they continue to run in the same direction. That's the sound of a red-billed spare fowl. But yeah, um, we'll continue to find more wildlife sightings here at Okanjima Nature Reserve. So we'll leave them for now. Um, wow, this is another amazing sighting, beautiful. They say hornbill here, southern yellow-billed hornbill. It just looks like it's actually finishing off a bird. Um, a chick, actually, not a very fully grown adult bird, but um, a chick. It looks like a chick that it's actually finishing off. Wow. Amazing sighting. Not having teeth, that's what you have to do, you know, you... You sort of just throw it around and hope that pieces would break off so you can better swallow it. I think she finished it off because now she's all looking around. It's been an amazing afternoon here at Okonjima Nature Reserve. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for watching.